What is up everybody? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about the Apple card. The Apple credit card. But it's called the Apple card. <laughs> so, um, I actually wanted to make a video on this, give you my thoughts, my first impressions, basically, if I will be getting it or not, and all those different good things about the Apple card. So, actually, let me go over the How It Works feature, which is the main thing. Now, the Apple card. It's coming this summer. Now, what this is, Apple has finally started their own credit card, and it's not necessarily by them, so it's not them making it themselves they always obviously have to go with another one like whether it's like a bank itself i believe this one is goldman sachs and whether it's like visa mastercard american express etc all those things always end up happening so you can't have that ignored you can't start you can but apple did not go obviously down the route of creating it from scratch so it is still with the bank it is still with another company that makes credit cards they are going down that route now just to talk about the card itself whether i will be getting it or not short short fast quick dirty answer i will not be getting it um i'm a very enthusiast on credit cards i might start making videos on those so you can obviously keep an eye out for that you can let me know if you'd like to see those but i do a lot of credit card hacks i do find the best credit cards for myself i always whenever i book a, pr a trip or a vacation or whatever i always do it for free i went to japan i went completely for free i did not spend a penny on the flight i got the cheapest deal um hotels and everything i actually did airbnb etc etc now are you thinking will this card do that for you no this card is not that type of card one of the main reasons to why i am not going to get this card i prefer going on those different types of cards with a shit ton of perks all those different rewards uh insane incentives and etc and i try to go down that route apple card is a simple card where if you use it you get two percent cash back i believe we can go down to see and I'm going to talk about their different features. I just want to show you the cash back. So it's 3% cash back with everything you buy from Apple. Um, Apple Store, Apple.com, iTunes, etc. 2% uh, cash back if you use it to buy Apple Pay. Now, not every place. So if you go down the street and you go to a deli or the bodega or whatever or a dollar store, they're not going to have Apple Pay. You're not going to get 2% cash back. You're going to get just 1% cash back. So that kind of sucks. Again, there's I know there's other credit cards which have no fee, no yearly fee, no anything of that sort. And they do do 2%. I believe City Double Cash Spend has the 2% cash back on every purchase. Whereas over here, it's 2% on only Apple Pay type stuff. Not just, what's it called, like you using the card. That would have been cool if they had 2% everything. Then it's not like still innovative in that sense. It would have been just, okay, they are meeting up to standard. But it's 1%. And a lot of companies, if not all of them, do 1% cash back. 3% uh, on Apple products. Now, I don't, I, I don't know if it's still worth it because in the sense that 3% cash back, if you buy a $1,000 iPhone, you're getting like 30 bucks back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like it's more of like your everyday items that you buy that it seems more worthwhile for. The cool feature of this is you get the 2% right there and then you, you don't got to wait a month. It comes automatically instantaneously to your account. Now, some of the cool features that I wanted to discuss for this card uh, that I personally like, it shows you a summary. I know Apple started doing this recently a lot. It's going to show you like a summary on how your card, how what you're spending on. And uh, this is interesting that not a lot of credit cards companies do. I have Chase. My, ch uh, my checking and savings is with Chase. And they do this. They actually started doing this with their credit cards. I don't know if this is a 2019 feature, but they actually started doing this. And I've been looking at it. It's pretty cool. I personally manage myself really well. I budget myself really well. So I did, never really needed it, but it's cool to see. Like, it shows me everything. I know there's apps and websites that do this for you. I believe main.com is one of the more, more popular ones that a lot of people use. There's other ones as well. But it was pretty cool to see, like, Chase themselves started doing it. I was like, oh, this is nice to see. I spent X on food. I spent X on construction. I spent X on renovation. Like, well, not renovation. Like, home improvement. It actually has all those categories. Medical. Uh, miscellaneous. It actually had all these different categories. Travel and whatnot. So I liked it. I was like, this is pretty damn cool. I actually, I'm very impressed. But, and I'm so Apple itself will also have like a good very in detail depth uh, view of it and whatnot it'll show you your habits what you can cut on again people who don't know how to manage themselves well or in general who want this type of guidance this will help this will help a lot and I feel like this is very good and it's going to innovate and push these companies to try which again it always is Apple is usually always that front leader of it to go and try to improvise and provide this now so their customers don't get stolen away because of Apple um, 
with the exception of this this was i know this was one of them so i really liked how this one went it also shows you like oh if you did a charge it'll show you exactly where you did the charge again very cool very very freaking cool so if you forgot like oh where the hell did i spend this 20 bucks on you click it you go in it and like for this one it's saying you went to giordano's dono's uh, food and drinks so you got a pizza from there or whatever and that's where you spent that money on so that's very cool it'll show you exactly where you went what location it was who it was so i overall like that a lot um again it shows you like buy purchase like where exactly you put it on how much went to foods and drinks and again the same as before i was saying it'll tell you everything on how much you spent on what and items and whatnot so these are one of your like basic stuff so this one is a very cool feature i have never yet seen with the exception of like online calculators and whatnot they're literally putting it within the thing the more you pay the less interest you'll pay obviously common sense but not a lot of people know this they don't even know that if you up it up by even like five dollars or ten dollars you cut down a lot of interest i prefer no interest at all again i you pay off my credit card bills asap um Okay, that's why I said credit card hacking. I do that a lot. <laughs> and that's why I'm one of those people Chase hates. But anyways, um, this is one of those features which I really much like. Again, a lot of people do not do that. They do not know that. They don't have that knowledge. And this will actually help them save a lot of money, which is, again, very cool, very interesting. So I'm overall very excited that they actually put this in because I know a lot of people will get this credit card, Apple fans especially, and they'll go from there. And again, not something for me. I have over 10 credit cards. Do I probably had more i've closed down a few but i've had i technically currently have over 10 credit cards so yeah i believe there yep uh there is no there's payments you can make on the schedule it'll tell you exactly when to pay and one of the best parts where let's see this one there are absolutely no fees and not even hidden fees which is very very cool i overall like that a lot again a lot of people there are some cards that do this already so it's not a new thing but I like the fact that a lot of people are going to get this credit card and this is going to help them a lot. There's no international fee, which again, some cards do charge. My personal, my credit card one, I have Chase Sapphire Reserve, it does not. There's no cash advance fees. I believe mine does charge that. There's no annual fees. Obviously, I have to pay an annual fee. And this is very cool. I really much like the fact that all of these items, there's no fees. There's absolutely no hidden fees at all. I'm sure there's like a late not like a late payment fee they'll probably like give you some leverage not leverage like leniency like okay it's fine but here but i overall very much said it says we won't charge you a late fee or high interest rate however you will accrue interest on your balance at your regular yeah see so they're not even charging a late fee well good which is very cool very interesting i do wish apple went more of a broader route but i think they actually specifically targeted the broad audience not people like myself i'm assuming i'm a smaller audience or a smaller niche market than the mass market of people that they're trying to get because i'm sure they'll make a lot of money on the interest so they're trying to go down that route as well and integrating it with their payment system because a lot of apple pay stuff already currently does work i personally use it a lot whenever i can it's easy it's convenient i just scan my face and put my phone next to it and it works but this is pretty cool I, overall i like the concept i prefer my card because it, it does the stuff for me I, would I get this just for other stuff? No, it doesn't really make that much sense to me. It's not the type of card I like or want to go down the route for. So, yeah. Overall, you are protected at 100% okay. Like, I, I get this a lot also. I get text messages and pop-ups if something for me. Like, when I go to, like, other countries, if I go to Canada and try to use it, it'll tell me right away. Or a different state, it'll tell me, like, hey, is this even you? Say yes or no or whatever. And then I, I don't even get a call. Which is, again, this is, a cool, again, one of the cool features that they have. So, overall... It's very cool. It's, I like it a lot. There are some items that they say like, oh, we're not a bank. Your information is private, all this. You probably are secure. You probably are private, but I'm positive the bank has your information. I believe it is Marcus. Uh, it's the Goldman Sachs, so it's Marcus. And I believe that's the site is called. It's going from that size. So I'm positive they obviously have it as well. They probably have some information. Again, they, they're saying it's everything is in, intertwined with the card itself. There's, it's cardless. It's titanium steel, which obviously a lot of people like. I would prefer that. I like that as well. It targets the millennial audience, which is a lot of their phone audience as well. Um, it's cardless, which is pretty cool, which I can see, again, in a card, credit card companies just start doing that. I don't know it sounds a bit weird because i purchase a lot of stuff online which i use my credit card for so i don't know how that works it's a bit weird <laughs> it's just a bit odd but yeah it is coming it is very cool i i'm excited for people to get this yeah see so goldman sachs will use your data see so it, it, like i said it was goldman sachs they are gonna have it but they're not gonna sell your data for third party so yeah they they said no one's having information not exactly true like i said it is with a bank they are gonna have your information they're just probably not gonna sell it to third party vendors but they still have your information but yeah 
Very cool, inter interesting concept. We'll personally not go for it. But let me know your thoughts below, guys. What do you guys think? Are you going to go for this card? Are you going to try to purchase it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But overall, if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps a lot. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Other than that, Evan is out. Peace.